All right, guys, in this video, we're going to go over uh, one of my favorite lower back rolling exercises. Now, the lower back is a sensitive area, so we're going to show you a way to safely get yourself up on the roller when you do this. So Sarah's going to demonstrate. So basically, you have your knees up, feet on the floor, well supported, and you're going to hip thrust, raising your hips. Once you're up there, then you can go ahead and safely slide the roller into place. So the roller you want to have right where the glutes meet the lower back. And you should feel like a pretty hard strap right there. Um, it almost feels like bone a lot of times, but you'll be amazed at how it softens up. So with this, you just initially you're just going to rest here. And I encourage everybody just to hang out here for a couple minutes. Even if you need to like pull the roller out from under you, relax again, and then go back into it after you do this initial warm-up phase. But you just want to kind of get everything warmed up and, and used to what we're going to do to it here. Kind of let things melt away a little bit. All right, we're going to speed it up a little bit here just so we can show you guys. But So essentially all this one's going to do is just basically start in the middle and then we're going to show you how to go side to side in order to hit uh, all the way across the whole entire strap of the back. So first there, I can go to the right. You're just going to drop the legs towards the ground. Once you get to the outside, you'll feel like a pretty good size knot normally. So you can just hang out on that for a minute. Once you start to feel it melt away a little bit, we're going to act like that's right now with Sarah. So she, we're going to go back to the left slowly. And this is about how fast you guys want to move when you're doing this. So twist on over. She's probably getting right towards it right there. And just remember for, for all of you, you know, Sarah's pretty flexible. So it's going to be a little different for some people on how far you can actually rotate over. But you're just looking for those spots of sensitivity. So once you get to them, then you kind of hang out on them, even if you can't twist as far. All right, we're gonna go back to middle. Whenever you're doing something that involves the lower back, you know, a lot of people wouldn't encourage you to ever roll your lower back. I'm not a believer in that. I just, I believe there's a safe, proper way to do it. But you wanna keep your belly button drawn in just to support your lower back. So keep your, keep your core tight, as people would say, but I just basically say draw the navel in and keep your lower back supported with your abdomen. Um, we're going to go through it one more time over to the right. And sometimes when I get on this, you know, when Sarah comes back to the middle here, another thing I like to do is just kind of let my left leg fall to the left and let my right leg fall to the right. And kind of just do a open up like almost like an Indian style motion. And this will really just kind of flex those areas that we're twisting towards and kind of helps break them up. And this will basically open those areas up a little bit. Sometimes they don't come all the way to the surface to where you feel like you can get them to release. So this kind of aids you in that. Then you bring the knees back together and then back up. All right, this one's not really too detailed. So that covers this one. Uh, follow the lower back stretches and leg stretches for this. And we'll show you some more advanced ways to do this in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.